I don't know how many times I've uh, exceeded the, the pathetically short time, 10 minutes to make a video, so I'll have to make this quick. This was a Sicilian game, B94, the time control was 7 minutes with 7 second increments, I was black, so let's go straight to the action, pretty fast actually. This was a Sicilian defense, an Eidorf, uh, and I played knight d7 here, other moves were e6, knight c6 and so on. But I, I think it's a good move because now then I can also come to e5 and uh, maybe sometime after b5 might be 6 e6 d5 and so on so it's a good move I play queen a5 so the bishop comes back queen b6 attacking the knight and the pawn he has to protect so he goes to b3 bishop b7 a4 notice that my queen is now covering this diagonal so he can't castle so that's why he played a4 that is to play a5 so castle a5 queen c7 notice that I don't I don't want to play queen a7 because then it's very difficult to get get the queen back into the game although I'm, I'm still covering this diagonal but you know it's not such a useful move we can even play queen 2 d2 e2 and followed by uh, bishop e3 and my queen has to move to b8 anyway so I play queen c7 attacking his uh, bishop on c4 he protected with queen e2 knight a e5 bishop d7 getting my final piece into the game castle bishop c6 knight d4 d5 and uh, here things get a little bit messy in the center f4 I took on d3 uh, I was also looking at the move bishop c5 followed by something like this and uh, black is actually better but I play knight takes d3 because if the center ever, ever opens up it's good to get rid of that rather nasty diagonal you know bishop covering this diagonal over here h7 b1 so he took back on d3 I played e5 it was kind of messy like I said and uh, here I have to take on f4 first. Bishop takes f4, bishop d6, and just a trade. Knight e4 takes, takes. Notice that I can't pin my um, my pawn because I also have a check on c5. And no matter what, no matter what he does, I can just take back over here. And uh, so it doesn't matter. He just took, and I a check. Uh, I didn't want to trade queens. So I'm st attacking his uh, queenside pawns. Uh, now we can see my, my both my rook and queen over are uh, attacking his pawn on b b4. He protected with queen d2, rook b5, and now rook g5. Uh, pretty good move because uh, now his king side is under some sort of pressure. In case my queen would ever come to something like queen c6, then I'll take him over here, threatening checkmate, or even take this pawn over here if he can't take back and so on. So he played rook d8, rook trade, check, king h7, and I go back, rook c1, rook g6, notice that rook g6 or g6 uh, is definitely necessary because he's threatening actually checkmate over here because his queen is covering this diagonal. So rook g6, uh, queen c4, queen e a3, rook c3, queen a1, check. And I think you can get the feeling that black is doing uh, better than white in this game. Sometimes you just get the feeling. And I'll just pick up a pawn, rook c8, check. And he wins back. Then I come back with check. Uh, because if he goes over here, then I'll just check him over here check back the next move so he has to go back with the queen and I'll win his a5 pawn and it looks like this is easily one for black but it's not that simple because the queens are still on the board and one pawn is well it's not very easy to convert the, convert the, this single pawn into a one game so and, I'll, and I'll, I didn't want to trade queens quite yet uh, so I'll start pushing my pawn and here I made a mistake, I should have simply played uh, instead of queen e5 check I should have played rook takes g2 queen takes g2 
and then simply queen takes c4, and they should be winning for black. But I didn't see that, so I play queen e5 check, and um, I, started, I, was trying, I was just trying to push that pawn as far up as possible. And now queen trade, queens come off. Yes, some, uh, I do lose this pawn over here, but I went back. Oops, I went back his h pawn because he can't protect. Because if if he plays g3, I simply take and just easily one. So it, this is a pure rookie end game: two pawns versus one. And uh, here he made a more or less a decisive mistake. He, he traded off his rook for mine. Not a very good idea when you're down a pawn or down anything. And this is very precise because you have to know what you're doing over here. He played. It looks drawish because, I mean, if I take over here, his king comes up and I hold the opposition more or less. So I play queen, king to g5. And notice that I do not want to take with the pawn. This will be drawn. So instead I do this, and he has to move, and I move, and this is just very easy to the one. So he resigned on move 79. And of course, uh, the win will look like this. King h2, queen, queen g3, checkmate. So let's take a quick look at the opening one more time. So instead of bishop c4, the book move would have been queen d2, followed by something like queen c7, castles long. Bishop b7, g4, b5, h4, castles, h5, bishop b7, or b4. Bishop b3, b4, knight c to e2, knight a e5, knight to g3, d5, g5, knight f to d7, g6. And so on. Okay, I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you soon.